Today we're going to look at how to do some basic desktop publishing with Google Slides. A lot of people miss Microsoft Publisher because it was easy to do things like pamphlets and brochures, and a lot of that functionality is lost in Google Docs. But with Google Slides, you, there are some workarounds that will let you do some basic publishing that will um, take care of most of the stuff you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So in Google Slides, what you want to do is open up a new presentation. And then you're going to format the slides. You're going to go to File and then Page Setup. And then you're going to use the drop down list and choose Custom. And then you're going to set that to 8.5 by 11, a standard letter size piece of paper. And then click OK. And you'll see that the format of the slide changes. Now I'm going to go to the slide layout and I'm going to change it to a blank slide because I want to be able to put stuff where I want. And for my newsletter, I'm going to insert a text box. So I click on the button, and then I'm going to drag that across the top where I'm going to put my title and publication information. Um, and of course, you can uh, alter the text any way you want. So I'm going to type in MUHST Librarians Technology Newsletter. Any volume information I want to add. And then I'm going to manipulate the text to arrange it the way I want. I want it centered on the page for the title. And then I want to change the uh, font face a little bit, make it bold, make the title larger. A little too large. I'm going to drop that down a little bit. And then the publication information, make it a little bit larger, but not as big as the title. And then I want to make this text box stand out. And so what I'm going to do is create a line around it, make it nice and thick, and then I can change the color of the line so that it's really going to pop on the page. And so now I'm going to add some text, and I'm just going to be inserting text that I copied from other publications. So I draw a text box where I want it. I'm going with a three-column layout. And then I'm going to paste my text. And one thing you can do when you're pasting is if you hold down the shift while you're doing control V, it'll eliminate any of the formatting from where you're cop from the document that you're copying from. And it'll conform to the document that you're pasting into. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm arranging the text box to get it the right size. And now I want to add a picture. So I'm going to click on image. And there are several ways you can do that. Um, you can use a webcam. You can um, uh, start, add, a, add an image by URL. You can go to your Google Drive or your albums. Or you can search um, through Google Life and other sources. Or you can just upload something from your file folders. And so I'm going to scroll through my files here, find the picture that I saved. And now I'm going to move this to put it underneath the column. And as I move it, you'll see lines appearing on the page. And this is Google Slides letting me know when things line up. So that red line on the right means that the right side of the picture is lining up with the right side of the text box. The red line in the middle means that they're both centered on each other. OK, now I'm going to add another column of text. So I'm going to draw a text box in the middle. You see the red line appear that shows me that the uh, text box and the picture are aligned on the bottom. And now I'm going to paste in some text. And this is most likely going to be too big for the box, and it is. So I'm going to go ahead and format it a little bit. And get rid of the extra carriage returns. And then work with the size of the text box and the location. So I can make it a little bit longer. I can make it a little bit wider. And now I can slide the text box around to where I want it. And now it's lined up at the bottom of the picture there. Not lined up with the top of the other column. So I can fix that until I get the red line there. Now they're lined up perfectly. Now I'm going to add a third column of text. This one's going to be offset a little bit. You see the red line appear. 
Now I'm going to do shift control V to paste in my text and keep it in the format of my newsletter. Now I can manipulate the size of the text box a little bit. And then I'm going to put in another image. And so I'm going to click on the insert image. You can also go to the insert menu for all these functions. And I'm going to put in one of my Gale icons here. And I can move that around. So if you try to do this in a Google Doc, you're going to have a lot of trouble moving the stuff around and you can't do the text boxes. You end up using tables and it's a little messy. It's a lot cleaner in Google Slides. Okay, and then for the last part of my newsletter, I'm going to create a, something all the way across the bottom. Just to break up the, the, the look of it a little bit. And I'm going to paste some text in there. And on any of those, you can manipulate the text box and put lines around them, colored backgrounds, whatever you want to do. And so this is what it looks like in presentation mode. So I can leave it as a presentation and just present it like that. Or if I want to send it to people, I can go to download as PDF. And that way I know that everyone who receives it, no matter what kind of computer they're on, will be able to view the document. Another option is to insert this into a web page. And so if you go to publish to the web and then you click on embed, and then you can choose some of the options here. So I'm going to make it custom and try to set it to as close to 8.5 by 11 as I can. So I'm going to switch the, um, the values and the height and width there because it's going with the slide default, which is widescreen. I want to do it more um, letter sized. And then I click publish. It'll say, do you want to? I say yes, and then it gives me an embed code, and all I have to do is copy that. So I'm going to do Control-C to copy it. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my Weebly page, and to insert a document and to embed a document in Weebly, I find the Embed Code button, and I'm going to drag that into the content area of the web page, and let it go. And then you'll see, click here to edit the HTML, custom HTML, and I'm just going to paste in what I copied from my slide. And that's the embed code. And so now I can manipulate this a little more if I click on it and then click on center to center it and edit embed code. And that's in the way, so I'm going to move it. And now I can work with the values in here, the height and width, and I want to make it a little bit longer and a little bit wider. And you just have to kind of play with these till you get them to your liking. And then you click off on the side there so you can see what it looks like. And it shows up at the bottom. You'll see that there are some controls for a Google slide presentation, but it's only a one slide presentation. Now, in Google Sites, it's much easier. Um, I just click on slides. It brings up a list of the slides I've been working on lately. And I click on the one I want, and it pops it in there. And you can see that the box is formatted to a standard Google slide, but I can grab these holes and stretch it till I get it to the size I want. And the web page will just keep getting longer as I do that, and it automatically adapts. And that's how you make a newsletter using a Google slide, and you can embed it in web pages or send it to people as a PDF.